Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for March 23rd. We are looking at the U.S. Japanese yen pair first. This particular pair we are expecting to move as high as 93.09 and potentially as low as 94.50. Uh, do look for some resistance around 97.71 and look for some support around 96.22. This pair did close up after gapping down on the open. Uh, the bias is sideways currently, uh, and it is moving sideways. Now, switching over to the Euro USD pair, this particular pair uh, formed a doji bar today. It did close up by just a few pips. We are expecting this pair, though, to have the potential to move as high as 138.70 and potentially as low as 133.69. Look for some resistance in this pair around 137.50 and look for some support around 134.72. Switching to the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed up today uh, after gapping uh, up on the open. We are expecting this pair though to move potentially as high as 148.01 and possibly as low as 142.72. Look for some resistance to come into this pair around 146.05 and look for some support around 145.04 in this particular pair. Now, switching to the US Swiss. This pair formed a doji bar as well during today's session. Uh, it did it close down, but only by a pip. Uh, we are expecting it to have the potential to move as high as 114.37 and possibly as low as 110.65. Look for some resistance around 11300 and look for some support around 111.50 in this particular pair. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? We've got a few just to look at, not too many today. We do have a swing trade that occurred in the Euro Swiss. This particular pair, if you take these two sessions high, draw your trend line, we have a potential buy at the 153.61 level. Uh, look to exit this particular trade around 154.21. That's roughly around 60 pips. Now, something else I'm looking at that I actually uh, find a little more attractive than that one, even though it's further from the market, we have a swing trade in the pound Swiss that we're looking for. This particular uh, trade, we're looking for a buy order above 165.37 and looking to exit this particular trade at 166.57. That's a potential profit of 120 pips. Uh, basically, we're looking for it to move back up to around this area of the chart. So we could see this move to, you know, from from here to there uh, within one session, especially with these large moves that we've seen here recently. Uh, we could very well see this uh, play out during this next session, even though we are a good distance from the market. Uh, if it doesn't play out during this next session, we could see it develop over the next session uh, if we enter the trade. If we don't, then we'll look for another, another uh, setup later on. But use a risk to reward ratio. Um, you know, reward, we're looking for 120 pips. Go ahead and put a 100 pip uh, stop loss for this trade. Well, that, that about does it for the charts. We do have the pound releasing their CPI tomorrow for February. That's being released at 5.30 a.m. Eastern time. Consensus is that it has dropped from 3.0% down to 2.6% year to date. It, they're expecting it to hold at 1.3%. Uh, the U.S. has Bernanke testifying uh, to the House uh, Financial Panel on AIG tomorrow. That's being released at 10, or he's starting to testify at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.